Hey there guys, Royal Folks, it's great to see you all here again back at the channel for your regular dose of raw news and analysis and of course before we move on to any further details we'd just love to thank you all for your enormous love and support over the last few weeks and months and it would really mean a lot to us here at the channel if you could subscribe and also hit that notification bell, it really does help us out. Um, and we also don't want you to miss out on any of the upcoming Royal News and Drama over the next few weeks and months. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. Now it's all about seating arrangements and seating arrangements at big family events can get a bit tricky, but it's going to be a whole new level of awkward at King Charles's coronation. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are still yet to publicly confirm whether they will be part of the congregation at Westminster Abbey on May the 6th. Their attendance seemingly rests on a number of different factors, including the reported desire for a showdown chat with Charles and Prince William, and acknowledgement of Prince Archie's fourth birthday. Wow. Now, relations between the pair and the royal family are at an all-time low, which makes it even harder to sort out a number of key issues, including where people will sit. At the Queen's funeral, Harry and Meghan sat directly behind Charles and Camilla in the second row next to Princess Beatrice and her husband, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi. Disgraced Prince Andrew got a front row seat along with his siblings and there is an understanding that Charles will follow protocol again. Even though Harry, Meghan and Andrew are no longer working roles, uh, past president is expected to be followed. If the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do attend, the hierarchy will be followed and Harry should get a more central seat because he is the King's son. While they might be seated together, it's been reported that many members of the firm are privately telling friends they will give the Harry and Meghan the cold shoulder. And some are hoping they will have to sit far away from the rest of the royal family so they don't have to socialise. Now, a source described as friend of the family by the mail told the paper they will be given the cold shoulder by very many relatives. One said to me, I hope they'll be seated in Iceland. Now, many of the family just want nothing more to do with them. If they have to see them at the coronation, then so be it. But they don't want to socialise with them. Now, organisers will be keen to keep the focus on the king and queen consort. And they might not be on... The cameras very often. Not only that, but a source claims that the Sussexes are asking palace aides to include them on the balcony with the rest of the royal family once the king has been crowned to wave to the crowd. The insider also claims once the king has been crowned, there will be a coronation procession that will start at Westminster Abbey and end at Buckingham Palace. Once the procession reaches the palace, the king will take to the balcony and wave at the crowds with the rest of the royal family members and their children. Now, this is where Harry and Meghan have requested inclusion. However, it seems like they may be banned from the balcony along with other non-working royals. So, what do you guys think about the news? Do you think that Harry and Meghan will forcefully sit in the front row if they attend the coronation? Do you think Harry and Meghan's main motive behind the coronation will be spotlight and fame? Please share your thoughts in the comments, guys. And until next time, have a great day. And we'll see you again soon with more Royal News and Analysis. Bye for now.